This lesson is about solving quadratic equations by completing the square. First, remember that some trinomials can be factored and solved using traditional factoring techniques. For instance, x squared plus 14x plus 48. We ask ourselves what two numbers multiply to equal 48 that add to equal 14. If you make a factor table for 48, you will quickly see that the numbers that multiply to equal 48 that add to make 14 are 6 and 8. <clears throat> Thus, we have found our solution x plus 6 times x plus 8. Using the zero product rule, we know that either x plus 6 equals 0 or x plus 8 equals 0, and so our solutions are negative 6 and negative 8. Other trinomials cannot be factored and solved in this manner, such as x squared plus 14x minus 30 equals 2. In these cases, we will use algebra to rewrite the trinomial on the left as a perfect square trinomial, then square root both sides to solve for x. Here's an example. x squared plus 14x minus 30 equals 2. In order to complete the square, the first step is always to move the third term to the right-hand side of the equation. So we'll take our negative 30, add 30 to both sides, and leave ourselves with x squared plus 14x, leave a space, equals 32. Our second step is to add to both sides the term needed to create a perfect square trinomial on the left. Remember, the missing third term is the square of half of the middle term. So the middle term is 14, you cut it in half, and then you square it, and 7 squared is 49. So I add 49 to both sides of my equation. Now, x squared plus 14x plus 49 is the square binomial x plus 7 squared. And on the right-hand side, 32 plus 49 equals 81. Now I have a very simple equation that can be solved using the square root property. You square root both sides of the equation, and the square root and the square cancel, leaving you with x plus 7 equals plus or minus 9. Finally, solve for x using both the positive and negative value of the root. So x plus 7 equals positive 9, x plus 7 equals negative 9, subtract 7 from both sides, and you get x equals 2, and x equals negative 16. Those are our solutions by completing the square. Here's another example. x squared minus 20x minus 25 equals negative 4. The first step is always to move the third term to the right. So I add 25 to both sides of the equation, and I leave a space. So x squared minus 20x space equals 21. Now, we add to both sides the term to create a perfect square trinomial. Remember, the missing third term is the square of half of the middle term. The middle term is negative 20. So half of negative 20 is negative 10, and then you square it, and it's 100. So we add 100 to both sides of the equation, giving us x squared minus 20x plus 100 equals 121. Now we rewrite the perfect square trinomial on the left as the square of the binomial x minus 10 squared equals 121. Again, this is a simple equation that we can solve using the square root property. So we square root both sides the square root and the square cancel on the left, leaving us with x minus 10 equals plus or minus 11. Now we solve for x using both the positive and the negative value of the root. So x minus 10 equals positive 11, x minus 10 equals negative 11. We add 10 to both sides and we get our answers, x equals 21 and x equals negative 1. Here is some practice for you. Complete the square to solve the following quadratics. The answer is on the next screen.